guys what's up dr lassa mohammed your computer online clinic if you are new here try to subscribe after subscribing click on the bell icon so you get updated on the next video and i want to say very big thank you to everyone that have been liking and sharing our content we really appreciate you and if you are new here please and please just try to subscribe just say click it when it's actually it's absolutely free okay now um we all know that humans are considered as living things because they have the ability to what reproduce because reproduction is one of the characteristics of living things now reproduction is normal but when once you are reproducing and you don't have enough to at least cater for what you for what you have in terms of the offspring they have to try to regulate your reproduction in the standard that's where family planning comes in now family planning is a is a process a method in which a family can plan how they want their family to be in terms of the number of kids they are having and how they can actually provide for them now family planning is not bad it's actually it actually helps in controlling the population to avoid overcrowding which might lead to food shortage normal now there are different methods of family planning and there are some methods that are very good and some that are not that good but you should know that everything that has advantage also have disadvantage now um an example of the um, family plan, i'll give you some examples but today what you are trying to hit on is the what withdrawal method so one of the um example of family plan is what the calendar method now the calendar method is um actually for the woman expect for a woman that knows her body that knows how her ovulation cycle works because if you know if you have like a constant ovulation cycle in which you know when you're ovulating and when you're not ovulating that way the calendar period and um, calendar method comes in so the calendar method you try to track your ovulation and when you're not ovulating you can engage sexual intercourse without having the fear of getting pregnant especially for couples that don't want any more kids you understand they just want to build on what they have already build the family because they already have enough now the calendar method is very easy. It's just for you to for, for lead to know how a cycle works. Then when she's not ovulating, she can engage sexual intercourse without having fear of getting pregnant. That is that on that. Then another method is what? Normal using your condoms. Now there are condoms for the male and the condom for the female. Now using a condom is knowing that whether she's ovulating or not, the condom actually helps in trapping the sperm in which it doesn't go into the woman's what fertilizer now you know condoms might be safe but there are some instances in which you can have stuff like um the condoms being um maybe having holes or tearing and stuff like that that can lead to an accident which can actually lead to what pregnancy that's also it's a disadvantage now we also have what they call the contraceptives now the contraceptives works in two phases you have the what the long term and the short term now the short term contraceptive in includes um this um pills you understand all these um pregnancy preventive pills you understand once you take them it actually blocks the hormones in which the spouse, the woman might not release egg for um ov ovulation and even when the woman has um, um engaged sexual intercourse with her she cannot get pregnant that short term why the um, long terms include implants and this implants uh, in terms of the short term also you have you have your pills you have your injections and so on that is just the basic then for the long term you have your implant now the implants can be in form of implanting in the woman in which she, she's not able to um she cannot she cannot produce she cannot actually a body cannot actually produce eggs that are more that the follicle stimulating hormone cannot actually function and she cannot produce eggs and once she cannot produce eggs and the man having sexual intercourse with her then good no pregnancy then for the for the male also you can have your sterilization which includes them um, cutting of the testes or removing of the testes or say castration in which it doesn't produce sperm and you can always enjoy sexual intercourse without him ejaculating now for also for the woman also you can have your iud in which implant or the the womb is being tied or the fallopian tubes are being cut off or tied now that's in the sense of once it's tied even if the eggs are being fertilized they cannot travel from the fallopian tube to the womb to implant meaning pregnancy cannot occur and also for the man also you have your spermicide now this spermicide is the, the non-hormonal method using spermicide this spermicide that what actually kills your sperm so once you have a, a releasing and ejaculating these sperms are already dead 
and also you have a, um, your vaginal gel and if a vaginal gel what it does is that it helps them um, increases the it helps increase the pH, the acidity level of the of the vagina. So once the man is um, for once the man is ejaculating, uh, the sperm are having contact with the vagina area, they die instantly because of the what the high pH of the vagina. So if but if you want me to give you a good and uh, like a comprehensive video on family planning, you can always um comment down below and I'll gladly do that. Okay. So now the, the last on my list is what withdrawal method now how does this withdrawal method works now withdrawal method is engaged in, in whenever any time of the on the woman period whenever she wants now it's also called coitus interruptus like the name implies interrupt area inter 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 what interrupting something interrupting something now how it works is this a man engaged in sexual intercourse with a woman and they're having intercourse and once the man is ab um, about ejaculating it tries to what um remove his male reproductive organ so you can actually ejaculate outside and not in the woman that's how it actually works now the thing is this the, this um Vujia method is it does it does it work does it function and how 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 can it be possible can the outcome the question is this withdrawal method does it work even if it does, what is the percentage of, of it not in the pregnancy? Now, let's get started. Now, this withdrawal method is a method that has been used over a long period of time. As I said earlier, some anything having advantage is also having disadvantage. Now, for some men, withdrawal method is nothing. They can also cope with it. While some other men, they cannot. Why? It goes down like this. Now, during sexual intercourse for a woman, once the male productive organ is actually hitting the woman's vagina or the woman's reproductive organ, the surrounding, which can either the clitoris or anywhere, she's stimulated, she's happy and she's having fun. While for the male, although the male cap, the penis cap is where the excitement is, when this man is actually trusting in and out, is actually feeling it. But what, what the man enjoys more during sexual intercourse is when it's actually about to ejaculate now there are some sensation sensation that uh, that your brain that the oxytocin from your brain leads to your body and you feel happy and your legs you feel this happy sensation when having sexual intercourse now the idea is this why i don't recommend this withdrawal method is this imagine when you are having the highest point of enjoyment in sexual intercourse you don't have you don't have to withdraw it and stop the excitement for some persons, they can actually undo it, while some persons cannot undo it. Now, reports have shown that most um, unplanned um, pregnancy actually occur through with the um, withdrawal method because the method is this: once you are trying to withdraw, even a drop of sperm can actually impregnate the woman. Even the pre pre come now before before the before the um, sperm actually comes out, there's pre come you understand because the pre come actually contain an, an alkaline solution, which actually help you to what um to moist the vagina because the vagina is naturally acidic. Now once this alkaline solution um, meets with the surface of the vagina, it what turns it to what when you have alkaline and acid it turns what neutral and it's just like water so this pump can actually survive now even with that alkaline solution coming out it contains one or two drops of spam this can actually impregnate a woman so if you are trying to not um have a woman pregnant and trying to um, work with this withdrawal method and you're trying to withdraw you have this just one drop and it drops inside it can just ruin everything so for me I think the withdrawal method. I don't. Um, I don't support the withdrawal method. Well, as I've said earlier, there are things that have advantages and other have disadvantages. So we have two evils. You go for the word the lesser evil. So if you, I said earlier, if you want me to make a comprehensive video on um, family planning, I want to actually choose the best that can work for you in planning your family. Just comment below. I would, I would drop. I would, I would gladly drop a video on family planning. If you have liked the video, try to share with your friends and family, okay? See you in our next video. Bye-bye.